Hey guys, welcome back to the new video of our channel. Today we're gonna learn about the Haeckel equation, which is a part of a chapter deformation of solids. But before discussing all the information from graph to applications regarding the Haeckel equation, let us suppose something. You're gonna punch a tablet from powder and by using direct compression method, and you are having a, a simple tablet punching machine. By using tablet punching machine, you're going to punch a tablet pump powder so how this punching process goes on you can see in the animation here you can see the process of punching of tablet is done at first filling is done by the feeder within the die cavity and compression is done with the help of upper punch it means pressure is applied with the help of punches how that pressure gonna affect the porosity of the powder within the dye is of our interest today. So what is Haeckel equation? Haeckel proposed the equation to study the effect of applied pressure on the density or relative density. Density or relative density, how they are interrelated we will discuss further. What is the statement? It states that the powder compression follow first order kinetics that is interparticular pores as reactant and densification of powder bed as product. It means what is first order kinetics? First order kinetics in which the rate is dependent only on the concentration of one reactant only. More is the concentration, more is the rate and faster is the reaction. So how we can correlate this first order kinetics to the pores? More is the interparticular pores, more will the pressure applied, more will the densification obtained. So what is the equation? Natural log to the 1 upon 1 minus d is equal to kp plus a. Here d is relative density. P is the pressure applied, A is dye filling and particle rearrangement before deformation. Here what is A? Let us suppose you have just filled the dye and you have not applied the pressure. What is the arrangement of the particles before applying pressure is the value of A and K is the measure of plasticity. More the value of K, harder is the tablet. So how that density and porosity are interrelated we will discuss here d is equal to 1 in maximum in case of no pore left when compressed here we are taking the d value 1 in case of no pores if their pores are there d is equal to 0 0.3 or 0 0.1 so porosity is equal to 1 upon 1 minus d by substituting this in first equation we get log natural 1 upon e is equal to kp plus a if we convert this equation into straight line we get a straight line between log natural 1 upon e versus p it means we are applying pressure and the porosity is decreasing here we are plotting graph p versus reciprocal of porosity that's why we are obtaining a straight line now what is the application of Haeckel equation? Where to use Haeckel equation? Information of K help in the sector binder in tablet formulation. Larger the value of K, harder is the tablet. Crushing strength of tablet can be correlated with the value of K. Let us imagine you have punch punch a tablet without the help of with, without the help of binder and got the tablet is fragile it is easily breaked so now you add the binder the concentration of amount of binder added is determined by the value of k so larger the value of k harder is the tablet now what are the types of material on the basis of Haeckel plot there are basically three types of material type a type b and type c type a is exhibited by the soft and readily undergo plastic deformation basically it is exhibited by the uh, sodium chloride common salt they are actually they are soft so when we apply the pressure deformation is easily done that's why straight line is ob obtained between log 1 upon 1 minus d is and compression pressure so, and what are type b material they are the harder material they have the high yield pressure Example of this material are lactose. In graph, initial coverage and compression, initial coverage is obtained due to fragmentation of particle followed by straight line. It means in this materials. So in type B material, direct compression doesn't take place. At first, fragmentation of particle 
take place it means bigger particle broken down into smaller particle then compression is done by applying pressure that's why we obtain a curve in the starting of the graph and in case of type c material local starch comes under this category it means this is the only graph which is insignificant in our pharmacy graph become flat due to absence of rearrangement state and densification it means at first it means you at first usually deformation that take place in as in type a and type b take place but after some time graph become flat due to absence of rearrangement state and densification state no more deformation take place even after the application of pressure so hope so guys you like the video make